It fits perfectly. Let's give it a try. We did it, Pi. Let's go. We can finally escape this island. Are you just going to leave the little guy behind? We'll do whatever we can to save him. That's the Larry I know. Leaving so soon, Master Larry. I would have thought you would have appreciated the company of these lovely ladies. <laughs> and here I was hoping that we would get to know each other much better, much more intimately. But now that I think about it, we can leave him here. If you're resourceful enough to break out of this very well-guarded prison, with your help, I might even be able to locate that cavern of cosmic cognition. We could experience the pleasures there together. Wouldn't that be wonderful? I'm not so sure. Well, if you want to learn more, check out my hotel room, number 69, where you can find a file I compiled. It contains everything I found out about it. Eh, uh, don't think about it. Keep a stiff upper lip. That too. <laughs> We got away, and nobody has to eat anyone. Swingle is still there. Oh, he'll take care of himself. But what do we do now? Faith has lost her memory. She can't even remember me. Now, think about how we can change that, Larry. Hmm. Think sharp, Larry. Think sharp. I... Give it to her good. Larry, you should do something she doesn't want to forget again right away. You just learned something from Swingle. His zippers distracted me. The thing about the cave. What cave? Larry, he said that there is a cavern of cosmic cognition on the archipelago. Whoever enters it gains a deeper knowledge of themselves. I've known everything there is to know about myself for a long time. Not you. Faith. Oh. Right. Whether that has anything to do with the pleasures that little Perv is looking for remains to be seen. But maybe this cave does contain some powers that can help Faith learn about herself. And maybe then she'll remember. Sometimes I feel like you do all my thinking for me. And I like that. So now you have to locate the cave and open it. Yes. And then find a way to get Faith there. Yes. And then... I know I... really fatten her up. Oh, no, Larry. If the legend is true, she'll remember everything. It all sounds almost too simple. Okay, let's get back to Kahlua. We should look for that file in Swingle Suite. Headquarters, come in, please. No! I said that's lube! It doesn't go in your mouth! It goes, ah, oh, spit that back out! Yamai! What's up, baby? Have you found out anything about this Larry guy yet? Hold on tight, Yanmai. He used to work for Prude. What? We found him in the personnel records. He was a stripper intern. Unbelievable. That must have been a cover identity. So he already infiltrated Prune, where he probably stole all the company's secrets. But on whose behalf? Who are you working for, Wari? He's clearly a threat. Maybe you should eliminate him, just to be on the safe side. No. We can't lose sight of our goal, Faith. If he managed to infiltrate Prune, he might be able to figure out a way to get Faith her memory back. That's the only way we can find out where the algorithm is. Right! You have my complete trust and my best torture knife. But wash it thoroughly before you bring it back. <laughs> it's a family heirloom. 
Understood. I should see how the secret project is going. Hopefully, there have been some results. I'm under pressure all the way up to here. Sorry, my darling. My favorite engineer. My genius. How are the tests going? Well, to be honest, not as well as I hoped. And the motor skills aren't fully developed yet, and the AI doesn't work well enough. And the sex routines? They belong to the motor skills. Fortunately, our test subjects all signed indemnification contracts, protecting us from any injury-based lawsuits. Faith's algorithm would make everything so much simpler. It can't be long now, Nari. Once we have the self-learning routine, it will run exactly the same way by itself. But we can't waste any time. We have to announce our product. I don't think that's advisable. Yes, it is, Nari. Something is brewing in new lost wages. I feel it. Okay, I feel an itching in my quatch too, but that's got nothing to do with this. At any rate, we have to be one step ahead of everyone else. Soon, we will reveal to the world... The Pipebot! So, uh, yeah, this definitely looks like Swingle's room to me. He's certainly made himself comfortable here. Don't you think so, Pi? Please, just find that file and let's get out of here. Soft and absorb. Okay, what should I dial? Hmm, no answer. Hi, I'd like to complain about a bug. Oh, wrong number. That number is easy to remember. Huh, <sighs> now I have 108 minutes. It would take me too long to type that in. Hi, I'd like to complain about a... Locked. And locked. And there's no way to enter a code or anything. <laughs> Discreet and versatile. You could conquer a very small world with that. Strange nubs. I know I'm not supposed to pull levers where I don't know what they do, but... Ah, now I remember why I didn't want to do that anymore. Maybe it's just a wetsuit. Sure, Larry. Why else would there be a zipper across the mouth? For the air holes. Totally logical. Pretty handy when you can just take one of these things off again. I like my leisure suit. Maybe it's just a wetsuit hung up to dry. Sure, Larry. Why else would there be a zipper across the mouth? For the air holes. Totally logical. I like my le I can't take those I wouldn't fit into that hopefully why is it called a ball gag? I mean, 
It's not even funny. I like beavers. Locked, and there. That seems to be some sort of size scale. I'll put all the toys back in. They don't look like they don't look like they've been used, but soft. Okay, what? That unlocked the safe. What a blowhard. Not right at the moment, more in general. I'm curious to see what's in Swingle's file. Look at this pie. This must be the file Swingle was talking about. Ah, it's kind of sticky. Only touch it with your fingertips. I don't want to even think about the diseases you could catch from that. Let me scan it for you instead. I'll put it all in my database so I can give you the information whenever you need it. Just. Don't hold me too close. Ew. Okay. There. I got it all. What exactly is in the file? Swingle has been very busy indeed. These are copies of historical documents from the crew that discovered the archipelago. Diary entries and letters, the captain's logbook, some pretty confused notes, and Swingle has also entered some notes of his own. The ship's crew actually entered this cavern of cosmic cognition that Swingle mentioned. To open it, they needed a keystone, which they found. At that point, the records become a little muddled. It seems they learned a lot about themselves, but for some of them, it wasn't very nice. What they learned led them to break the keystone into four pieces. Captain Muffington, Regibald Cockburn, Lady Gobbledick, and the Marquis de Carnard they each kept one piece. They concealed the route to the cave so that no one would ever enter it again. This sounds like a job for Larry Laffer. What happened to them? They all died under mysterious circumstances. Tell me about the captain. Muffington first settled on one of the islands, which to this day bears his name. But whatever he learned about himself in that cave, one night, he couldn't take it anymore. He tried to sail the unsatisfied out of the archipelago with a small crew, but huge waves smashed his ship against the rocks. One of them was the legendary Phallus Rock, which is still worshipped today as a symbol of fertility. So his part of the Keystone probably sank there with him. Probably. What do you know about Cockburn? Regibald Cockburn started a family with Lady Gobbledick. Oh, that's interesting. His daughter later took the name Marley. Wait, 
That's Bobby's name, too. I should ask her about that. So Cockburn lived happily ever after? He died of a broken hip from sex addiction. Just what I said. Oh, what a life. Were you listening to me? You're making it sound like sex addiction is a bad thing. I... whatever. Anyway, he was buried on Muffington Island. Probably with his keystone. What happened to Lady Gobbledick? She mysteriously suffocated. Not much information is available about her, except that she lived with Cockburn. Here's another one of his diary entries. My beloved Lady Gobbledick's grave must never be found by anyone. The dark truth must never be revealed. Only I know the way to her grave. It begins on the entry ends there. It appears the second page is missing. I have to find that second page to get to Lady Gobbledick's grave and find out more about her keystone. What happened to the Marquis? The Marquis couldn't cope with what he learned about himself in the cave. He threw himself into the Kahlua volcano. Oops. Hmm. That means there's no trace of his keystone and it may have melted along with him. But you could go to the volcano and look for clues. Okay. So I have four keystones to find. And of course, to locate the cavern of cosmic cognition itself. Is there any information in that file that points to where I can find it? A number of things point towards Kofuku Island. Swingle has even entered some coordinates where he believes the cave might be. But even if you find the cave and all four parts of the keystone, you still have a problem. I'm too sexy for my shirt? No. You have to get Faith to go with you into that cave. You mean I have to trick the dangerous armed cannibal lesbians to get an audience with their queen who has amnesia and wants to roast me? Exactly. As good as done. And, Larry, I don't know if this is even a good idea. What those people learned about themselves in the cave back then, it drove some of them crazy. Who knows what could happen to Faith in that cave? Or to you. Cosmic knowledge, self-knowledge, Endless pleasures. That cave could be dangerous, too. We have no choice, Pi. Faith is confused and has memory loss. Maybe the cave will give her mind a nudge in the right direction. And if it somehow turns me into a sex-craved pervert at the same time, then... Nothing will have changed. Hey, I was going to say, then I'll just have to live with it. Until you die of a broken hip or throw yourself into a volcano. This is starting to make my head hurt, Pi. Don't worry. I entered it all in your app. I'd better leave Swingle's toys here. He... like you want to explore my love cave again. Then again, you always look like that. So that's a yes? That's a no. Thanks. But I'm satisfied for the moment. But I'm not. Your problem. Regibald Cockburn is your ancestor? That's true. How did you find out about that? He carries his brains in his pocket, sister. Yeah, he does. Regibald was not exactly the climax of my family tree. The stone downstairs in the lobby was his? Yeah. Larry, that must be one of the keystones. Can I have the stone from the lobby? It's really pretty. The only way I'd let it out of my hands is if I were to get another memento of Regibald Cockburn. Like maybe his legendary signet ring. It's supposed to have some truly extraordinary powers. Is there anything else you can tell me about Regibald Cockburn? There hasn't been that much written or recorded about him. He was deeply in love with Lady Gobbledick and led an uneventful life. I once tried to promote his alleged motto as a slogan for Kahlua, but the resonance wasn't there, so I gave it up. What was it then? If it moves, you can screw it. Nice motto, but a bad slogan. Exactly. Where can I find the Cavern of Cosmic Cognition? Nobody knows for sure. According to legend, 
somewhere on Gafuku Island. I used to drag tourists there to show them the remains of the advanced civilization, the stone heads. They weren't particularly impressed. That's why I don't bother anymore. But if there are traces of an advanced civilization there... I call it advanced civilization because that's all we have here. It looks to me like some people who couldn't tolerate the native mushrooms washed up here a long time ago and built strange things. And the founding fathers weren't here of their own free will either, but were shipwrecked here instead. Somehow a lot of people have ended up in this archipelago that way. There are still some of the guys who came here for the festival near the cave on Gafuku. I mean, why not? <laughs> as long as they don't break anything. But aren't tightwads usually tough? I'm not eating them myself. Well, you certainly made a meal out of me. Of course, I make sure not too many people disappear. Nobody here wants any news of that to get out. Nobody. I, 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 I get it already. Did you know that there are female cannibals here? Of course. And that doesn't frighten you? Of course. I, I mean, I make sure that they don't abduct any guests who are particularly well off. But say, if someone is clearly way behind on their payments. I'll inform the authorities. I still am the authorities. Then consider yourself informed. Of course, I make sure not too many people disappear. Nobody here wants any news of that to get out. Nobody. I, I... Is the volcano still active? It's actually quite active. That's why nobody goes there. Of course, there are always a few crazy adventurers who see that as a tough challenge. But then, that's the lava's problem, not mine. Where's there an island around here with a particularly dangerous reef? If I tell you that, will you feel impelled to go there? Maybe. With your so-called raft? Then it's better I don't tell you or I'll have you on my conscience. I'm leaving now, but and maybe another woman will want to have sex with me. If she doesn't have anything better to do. I always wanted to have an inflatable crocodile in my pants. Uh... How's the water? Wet. You stupid or what? Stick your hand in if you want to know for sure. I, I didn't mean to. Don't care what you meant. Have you been here at the hotel long? Are you implying that I've been here since the 80s? No, of course not. I have, though. My second husband ripped off this stupid investor and took him for a cheap suite. And then I ripped him off. Now the suite is mine. You sound pretty determined. You could call it that. Maybe you do have some brains, kid. And now you're living the good life here? Nah, I'm looking for a new husband. Let's hope number eight is better than number seven. And is packing more in his pants than number six. How about you, kid? You already spoken for? I'm already on my fourth marriage. So was I at your age. Trust me, the fifth marriage is easier. I'll remember that. How's the husband hunt going? Kinda stalled. Had a candidate in mind. Then he went swimming one night and disappeared. Well, one of his feet washed up on the beach. Don't want to marry a foot. Nice drink. 
Straight alcohol. Only why I can tolerate this meaningless existence. You mean the whole leisurely floating in a pool under the tropical sun thing? Here's mud in your eye, kid. I have to get going. Don't drown. Then I'll just grab this energy drink. Shawnee! How's the big packing going? It's pretty hard when there aren't many people around. Because they don't give you enough money? Sort of. Even the guy in the lobby won't give me any of his tips. That could be because he works for them. He just stands around all the time, not working. Besides, he probably is just using them for drugs. True enough, I guess. Do you have any tips on how I can big pack too? Oh, you're doing all right with that raggedy outfit of yours. I beg your pardon? This is a wedding suit. Your expression's good, too. Just a little confused, hungry, and pleading. Hey, I always look like this. Then you should be able to manage a trip around the world. Who are these people who give you money? They're from all different walks of life. I just have to build an emotional connection to them so that they understand my spiritual journey. Some people have real problems with that. They're just not in touch with themselves. Or they're stingy. Or that. I came to this archipelago to thank one of my benefactors personally. He founded this new, totally hip cryptocurrency and opened a new headquarters with his employees here on an island. Cryptocurrency? I'm sure you've heard of it. Clitcoin? Don't ask me exactly how that works. I haven't been able to use it to pay for anything yet, but it's good to have a reserve in your wallet. Wallet? Anyway, they're headquartered on an island that's completely inaccessible. An island completely surrounded by reefs. A lot of ships have gone down there. Some of them are really old. They must have been wrecked centuries ago. Larry, according to Sir Muffington's log, his ship, the Unsatisfied, sank off a storm-tossed island here. We should take a closer look at that island. You're right about that. But Shawnee, why did they open their headquarters in a place like this? For security reasons, they said. It's private there. It's unregulated offshore waters and all that. What can you tell me about the island with the dangerous reefs and the waves? Like, for example, its name? No idea. But the coordinates of the island are minus 20 and 3. And your ship will have to be especially well equipped to prevent it from being wrecked, too. All I have is a raft. Then even more so. You should put bumpers on both ends of your raft. Otherwise, the waves will toss you around and smash you against the rocks. That would be a bad thing. Want to go with me? No, I'll let fate decide. When the stars are right, the perfect wave will carry me there. If that works. I float through life like a feather on the wind. What was that again about an island surrounded by dangerous reefs? The island where my benefactor has his headquarters? Its coordinates are minus 20 and 3. You can't get there unless you have a ship equipped with really good impact protection. Otherwise, you'll smash up on the rocks there and find a wet grave. I've heard that's supposed to be unpleasant. See you later. Okay, folks, it's time for a laugh. Thank you. You're a wonderful audience. Just too bad you're not here. Except for you, in the back. What's your name? Larry. Larry Laffer. You sure look like it, too. It's one dynamite joke after another today. Today's the premiere of my new stage show, featuring exclusive new material never before heard on any stage in the world. Wow. An orc, a troll, and a Mandalorian walk into a bar. The Mandalorian says, I roll a I'll seven. The orc drops dead in its tracks. Says the Mandalorian. Hey, I didn't shoot first. Ah, uh, okay. That one's kind of so so. Hey, I'm trying to work here. What do you want? Your jokes are kind of odd. I made them all up myself. 
You did? Yeah. Well, I mean, sometimes I take advice from my team. You have a team? Stop the interrogation already. Yeah. I take what I can get. Actually, I copy it all from a joke book. And I don't even have that anymore. I lost it. I had it with me at that crazy festival. Maybe somebody there switched it. Instead, now I got this book about role-playing games. But they're kind of strange. I mean, who wouldn't want to dress up as a sexy nurse or something in a role-playing game, but a mage? A healer? Or a dwarf? Well, I guess I'll just have to make the best of it. this book on role-playing games? The only thing I'd swap it for would be a decent joke book. Preferably the one I know. If you can get me that, you can have this dungeon master crap. Do you ever get too old to be a comedian? <sighs> Honestly, I've been asking myself that for a while now. This rock star life in the spotlight, it's pretty exhausting. I thought you were a comedian, not a rock star. Hey, that's disrespectful. Have you ever heard your own jokes? True enough, I guess. Well, I'll let you get back to clowning around. Hey, comedy is a serious business. <laughs>